talk about something. I'm going to talk about what isn't strongman. We get... I see a lot of people, they get mad. Why do I always, I start that off, I see a lot of people. I see like three people say something, then it's obviously a lot of people. I guess when something annoys you, it magnifies how many people that was by into a lot. It could be like at least more than one. Even one ends up being a lot if it's constant and it annoys you. But they'll comment and they'll say like, that's not strong, man. Or a list of events at a contest will uh, come out and people are like, oh, well, that's not strongman. Like, you know, uh, a one-arm deadlift, a uh, circus dumbbell medley, that's not strongman. Well, what is strongman? Strongman's pretty much everything. <laughs> um, if you look at it, we've, in the past, if you, if you say that's not strongman, and you haven't watched every single World's Strongest Man, at least the finals, then just shut up. Simply just shut up. Log off of this, go in, go on YouTube, go to the other videos on YouTube and watch the World's Strongest Man from 77 till now, and you're going to look at it and you're going to go, I have no idea what Strongman is, and this sport is stupid. Because uh, there's been a lot of interesting events over the years at Worlds, which was then at the time on CBS. So if you say, like, some event and that's not strongman, then you're wrong. There's been everything from uh, deadlifting cheese to doing front holds with uh, sausage links to they had uh, America's Strongest Man. Uh, they put them above, they put all these, like, 300 to 400 pound guys above a pool and made them hang from a bar for time. And they did it. And that was strongman. Now... You can say an event is stupid, and I don't think it's a good test of strength, but strongman is literally everything. It's just odd feats of strength. You know, and, and, and it comes down to there's some standardization of it, and of course that standardization has gotten more and more, so then people get mad um, when things deviate from it but I think it's good when things deviate from it because we've gotten a lot of specialists they know that there's gonna be some sort of straight shot uh, moving event there's gonna be some sort of overhead press some sort of deadlift some sort of load etc and then they just get good at those things and if there's little deviations like at you know at worlds they um, two years ago they made them start they carried and loaded tires now if this was done at an amateur contest everyone would go in what the fuck why are we carrying tires we flip those we carry kegs. Where do you think... Who do you think thought up the first idea to carry a keg? It's odd objects. Moved in some sort of way. In some sort of contest. That's strongman. It's everything. So... Stop specializing so much. And... Have fun. And just... And think outside the box. Like, there's been bar bending in the past. Like, you know, like, uh, at some, you know, like, the sport of strongman is just taking all these different disciplines and, you know, from different strength sports and circus performers and making them into some sort of contest that we care about for some reason. So, like, if someone's going to bend a frying pan or whatever, like, it's a feat of strength. In some fashion, it's strongman. Now, can certain events, I think they're kind of, they could have been done better by promoters or whatever, yes. But, it's all strongman. Strongman is everything, strongman is nothing.